Hey guys, how's everybody doing? It is April 5th, 2020, and this is one of those videos I'm not at all prepared for, but I had to share it with you now where I'm not gonna share it. You know, I say I'll do it later and then I never do. But listen, I was just sitting in the room when my mom had the news on and they were talking about the super moon, the brightest of the year that was coming up um, on the 7th in a couple days. And I remember on my last channel, I had a lot of clues that pointed to Passover and Easter and even like something special with the moons and pink okay so I wish I still had all those videos but I don't but listen this just clicked for me and I dang near fell off the, the edge of the chair but this super super moon that's coming up is called the pink moon it's also called the hair moon like the bunny and the egg moon like the Easter eggs <laughs> And the Paschal Moon, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, which means the Passover Moon. And what they said on the local news channel is what had me, like, falling off my chair. I've seen different things on the internet um, just, you know, by looking up this information real quick. Uh, but on the local news channel here, it said that on Tuesday night, it will come out at 7.17 p.m. And uh, it will... Um, be gone or something at 717 Wednesday morning. I just saw the two 717s lined up and I'm like, what? And I remembered 717, which is also my area code. Uh, in Greek, it means Armageddon. And in Hebrew, it means to pluck, to gather. So guys, yeah, I have to say that my eyes are wide open for this Passover and Easter season. I wish we didn't even call it Easter, it's Resurrection Sunday, but, um, you know, I, m like I said, my eyes are wide open, especially with everything going on in the world right now. Um, you know, I have dreams about martial law, and now that's happening. Um, I've had dreams about a lot of stuff, and it's all coming to pass now, so just keep your eyes open. <laughs> be ready to meet your maker, just in case this really is it, you know? It's going to be a beautiful thing for many and a terrible thing for many, many others. Um, so just continue to pray for yourself. Repent. Get right with God. You know, um, offer up the stuff in prayer that is displeasing to Him and ask Him to take it from you. And, you know, um, just talk to Him. It's a relationship. Just never stop talking to Jesus. You know, He died for us because He loves us and wants to have a relationship with Him. And that's all we need to do is talk to Him and and he'll know that our heart is for him. So I just wanted to put this out there real quick. Um, I'm supposed to be moving uh, into my house tomorrow, and, you know, I'm excited, but <laughs> I'm more excited to go home and get out of here. But I, I also feel that we will be coming back to help those, you know, who didn't make it out on the first rapture. Um, so if it is this year or... I could see it being next year, but I'm hopeful for this year because everything is, you know, look at look at the world. You can't deny that stuff is happening. Um, anyway, I just wanted to put this out there real quick. Uh, I hope everybody has a good day today, and I love you guys. Look up. Our redemption draws near.